This tutorial is going to real quickly show you how I did this grainy old film effect look that you see within uh, silent films. All right, in Premiere Pro, you've got the video that you're working with. The first thing you want to do is change the frame rate. So you do that by going over to your effects panel and just do a search for posterize. Posterize time, that's the one you want. You drag and drop it onto the video. And we've got posterized time. You want to change your frame rate from 24 or whatever it currently is to 15. That's going to give it that choppy look that those films are known for having. Next thing you can do is change it to black and white. So for example, if you filmed this in color, you can convert it to black and white. Mine's already in black and white, but I'll show you how I do that anyways. To do that, you can do that under your video effects, image control, black and white, or just type in black and white and just drag and drop it onto your video. And you can adjust your black and white settings a little bit if you want. You can also do it through the color panel. There's tons of different ways to turn it to black and white. I'm gonna undo that because as I said, mine's already in black and white. Next thing we wanna change is your clip speed. So you can right click and just go speed duration. And you wanna change it to 120. So I've already adjusted this uh, from 100 to 120. Another thing that you can do is adjust your brightness and contrast. So you notice with a lot of those old films, they're really kind of uh, low contrast or high contrast or the, the whites are really bright. Um, again, mine's already fine, but if you want to do that, you can just do that through um, color correction and brightness and contrast. And same thing, you just drag and drop it onto there and then you adjust your brightness and contrast however you want it to be. I'm going to remove that because I don't want to adjust mine. Mine's fine the way it is. All right, the next thing you're going to want to do is adjust the frame rate for still images that go on here, the default. So this is a key item that you need to make sure that you're doing. So go to Edit, go to Preferences, and then go to Timeline. And you'll have this one here, still images default duration. Yours might be set at five seconds, something like that. What you want it set at is one second. Hit OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to import that grain. So what I did is I just went to Motion Array and did a search for some free film grain overlays and found one that I liked and downloaded it. So once you've downloaded it, go back into Premiere Pro and you want to import it. So go right click, import, go to wherever you downloaded that to. So in my case, I put it on my desktop and click on the folder. Now don't hit open. What you want to do is go import folder to import that whole folder. Okay, now I've got my film grain effect. Now what you can do is you just grab that whole folder and you drag and drop it into your timeline, placing it above the video. And mine's a bit longer, so I can actually just delete those last few frames if I want. And you'll notice here, let me turn the music off. You notice here, we're starting to see those little things on the screen here. There's one, there's one, that kind of grainy effect. So we're getting close to being done. But there's a couple more things we can do here to make it look a bit more old-timey and grainy. And that's going to be to put a sep kind of a sepia toning to it. Go New Item and go Color Matte. Hit OK. And you want to pick kind of a brownish color. Oops, let me get to, there we go. You want to go kind of a light brown. And you can play around with this a little bit if you want. And you can always adjust it. Uh, I'm going to go with that for now. Hit OK. And I'm going to call that Sepia. And I'm going to drag and drop that onto my timeline as well, above the other ones. And it's a bit dark, as you can see. So you click on it, adjust your opacity, drop it down. And I would change your my um, uh, blend mode to lighten. And you can kind of see it has a bit of a sepia tone to it now, which looks real nice. And so when I play my video back, we're going to see those little effects. You see them popping up on the screen. And that's pretty much it. That's how you do that old-timey silent film effect. As always, hope you found that was useful. And have a good day.